My name is Zach Koka with Minerik Drives and today we'll be doing a basic wiring demonstration of the RG60U. The first thing we'll wire up is the main speed potentiometer. Take the male terminal block and put it in the female terminal block on the drive. With the speed pot in hand, take the common lead that will be wired into S0. The wiper We'll go to S1, and the positive lead to S2. Next, we'll be wiring up the inhibit switch and the enable switch. These go into the terminal block right here in the middle of the drive. You can use a screwdriver to open up. The inhibit goes on the right hand side, while the enable goes on the left. Like so. Next, we'll connect the motor to A1 and A2. These terminals are located on the right hand side of the drive. And next, we need to switch if we were using a 90 volt motor or 180 volt motor. Factory default set for 180 volt, so we need to switch it over to 90 volts. Next, we'll connect power to the drive. On the bottom board, there are two switches located in the front. These set the input power voltage. They're factory default set at 230 volts AC. We're using 115. You have to make sure to switch both. And then, on the left hand side of the drive is L1 and L2. Plug the hot lead to L1, common lead to L2. Now let's quickly go over a quick test procedure to make sure everything is working properly. Let's turn on the speed pot, do a little motion to the motor. Let's make sure the drive will coast the motor to stop when we flip the enable. And make sure the drive will immediately stop the motor when the inhibit is switched. Alright, everything seems to be working perfectly. Thank you for watching this basic wiring demonstration on the RG60U. For more advanced wiring configurations, please refer to our other videos. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit us at www.minerakedrives.com or call one of our application engineers at 815-624-6950.